All right, this is a quick video just showing how the patch tool works inside of Wrap. So the idea with the patch tool is sometimes you scan a bunch of areas and you may miss some spots and you might go back and rescan a spot. So if you rescan a spot and then you want to align that spot and then merge it, what happens when you merge it is it will average out all these overlapping areas, right? And that adds more area, uh, error to the scan, right? So the idea of the patch tool is honestly just another way of merging in a patch that actually makes this piece deform to the original piece. And when you deform it to the original piece, all these areas will fit the regular mesh, but then the missing areas will kind of merge in. And then you also have the option to adjust a seam, right? So if you come over to patch, the way it works is you select the mesh in the tree that's your main mesh. Then you come and you select the patch that you want to merge with it, right? And then it has this overlap distance that it's going to look and then you can enable the patch deformation, which will like move the patch uh, that's there and deform it to fit. Um, you don't have to use that. You could you can basically come in and use the overlap distance and you know adjust that. And you'll see here. Let's let's make it like. And you could do it that way where it, there's this buffer that's going to make this piece match that if there's error between the two, right? And then you hit apply and then it merges it in with the other piece. So I don't necessarily use the patch deformation that much. What that's going to do is take all those overlapping areas and then move it and merge it in as well. But I would rather most of the time just make up the missing areas only. And then the overlap distance is basically the seam, um, if you think about it. So that's the way I use the patch tool. And it's great because it basically does like an advanced hole fill for you by rescanning an area is what the intention of the, the uh, tool was. All right, so that's the patch tool.